Hi, my name is TB. I'm an affiliate with the Sensorica Network and I'm here with uh, Bruce. Bruce is our plant doctor. He is the creator of the uh, soil, the growing medium for the plants. In previous videos, we introduced how we built the structure for the green wall. Then we had a second video uh, talking about the plant pots experiments that we had before we finished the uh, building of the green wall. In this video here, we're going to concentrate on the soil or uh, we should call it the growing medium composition. Uh, so Bruce uh, made a cocktail of different uh, products that we mixed into uh, this growing medium and we're going to take them one by one and see uh, what is their role. We're going to talk about the uh, percentage of the mixture uh, that, uh, that you did. <clears throat> and so this mixture here was used in these experimental pots that were presented in the previous video. This is a pot that has a, a fan here to drive air through. It's an air cleaning pot and it's just a model. This is a more simplistic model here made out of a pop bottle uh, that will mimic how the plant will uh, get water from the PVC pipes in the green wall. They both have the same soil mixture uh, and we've been growing them in these pots for the past four or five months. Yes, like yeah, yeah, this is since uh, January. Since January, so uh, just, to, just to make sure that the, the, the soil composition is good and that the, the way we set it up to drive air through the growing medium, through the roots of the plant to clean or purify air uh, will not uh, uh, damage or, or affect the metabolism of, of the plant in some way. Actually, we think it has some positive effects on the plant growth. Uh, so why don't we uh, take them one by one, all these ingredients, how many we have here? One, two, three, four, five, five ingredients, Bruce? Yeah. And can you, uh, it doesn't matter the order, uh, can you start with the most important one or whatever you, you think it's, it's more relevant? Uh, 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 like they're all important, uh, 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 like the, these three are the macro. Um, so can you tell us what they are? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, like this is activated carbon. And activated carbon uh, is used as a filter for gas mass. It, it uh, traps uh, VOCs and that. And it also has the potential of trapping uh, nitrogen oxides and, and ammonia from the air. Uh, so uh, it, it actually uh, uh, will, will, will feeds the plant over time with nitrogen. So that, that is one of our, of our hypotheses, right? Yes. As we drive there through the soil that contains this activated carbon, um, then nitrogen might be fixed. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, 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 uh, like it draws it in ammonia as nitrogen oxides and it actually um, uh, supports uh, uh, like bacteria because the surface area of this is uh, like one gram could be like the size of this room. Okay. And it's um, uh, like it has a slight electrical charge and it Adsorbs, uh, like which is different from absorbing. With a uh, D, adsorb. Right? Yeah, adsorb, yeah. With traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. And, and it traps uh, like other stuff, like phosphorus. Okay. Uh, so, so just just to finish with this, uh, the, one of the hypotheses that we have that we need to verify in the future, uh, because the green one is also an experimental setup, uh, and and we're gonna do a bit of science there, is that the carbon helps to trap stuff that contains uh, nitrogen. And yeah. then through some bio, uh, uh, biological processes, yeah, yeah, it was nitrogen different from the air nitrogen, will be oxidized. Yeah, yeah, with nitrogen fixing bacteria. Yes. Uh, uh, like it changes, uh, uh, like a, uh, like a, like when NH three is dissolved in water, it becomes the NH four, okay. uh, which is ammonium, and and then there's bacteria that will actually fix it into nitrites and then nitrates. Uh, Which is uh, the like, stuff that we uh, put on the fields in agriculture normally, and we yeah. believe that that's going to get sucked by the plant as yeah. a fertilizer, right? Yeah, uh, uh, okay. like uh, like in your very simple goldfish tank, uh, yes. that, like that, like that's what you would use as filter media to clean the to clean the water. Yeah, yes, exactly. It's, so uh, it traps, it's yeah. trapping stuff. Yeah, and since it traps uh, 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 nitrogen-rich uh, 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 compounds, yeah, then yeah. the bacteria does the job yeah. and puts them in a format that the plant can absorb. And, yeah. And, 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 and the peat moss, um, uh, like it, it is very nutrient deficient, but it's very, uh, it, it's, it's rich in, uh, 
in chelating um, organic acids such as humic, uh, fulvic, and tannic. And it actually, um, uh, like, a, uh, like absorbs the trace elements in, in, in the basalt. Okay, so this is basalt here, and this is peat moss. Peat moss yeah. is like a, it, it looks like a dry earth. Um, it's very, um, it's, it's like a fiber. Okay, yeah, right? yeah, it, it's magna moss. Magna moss, okay. So it's magna whatever whatever yeah. that is, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> you are the specialist. Yeah. And this is, what did you say this is? Uh, 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 like peat moss is very acidic. So, yes. so normally you, you, you wouldn't grow plants in it. It's very nutrient deficient and it's yes. very acidic. Um, uh, like, uh, like this is basalt, which is um, volcanic lava. And These are the pallets, small pallets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which is rich in um, uh, like uh, like all kinds of trace elements that the plant needs. And in very uh, very small quantities. Yeah, yeah. So what is the what is the interaction between the peat moss and the basalt? Okay, the um, uh, uh, like uh, like when uh, trace uh, metallic elements are soluble in the, in in oxides, which um, is is uh, insoluble except for a very trace amount. Uh, it, like it gives the right concentration to the plants. So uh, uh, like you're looking at uh, manganese, uh, uh, molybdenum, uh, vanadium, cobalt, uh, copper. So all that stuff you find it in the basalt here. Yeah. In trace trace quantities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the peat moss uh, acidifies uh, the. Uh, 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 like uh, like well actually um, uh, uh, like the the uh, organic uh, 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 chelating acids will chelate these uh, trace uh, elements. And it'll make them available for the plant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just to extract yeah. these rare elements that the plants need. Yeah. Uh, from from the basalt. Okay. Yeah. Anything to say about this uh, group here? And um, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like over here is uh, is dolomitic limestone, which is uh, calcium uh, calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate, which are the magnesium and calcium are essential to to plants. And uh, since since it's basic, I feel like I'm having it, a, a it, chemistry it, it, uh, <laughs> uh, Like uh, uh, like you could be making a simple uh, buffer solution to 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 keep the pH of the soil um, roughly constant. So it balances the soil's uh, yeah. acidity, right? Yeah, pH. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, here is a uh, uh, like a like bone meal. It's a proxy for calcium phos phosphate ore. So this comes in a in a jar like this, uh, and it's called uh, fossil. Uh, yeah. Powder, right? Yeah. It's, it's bones. Yeah. Fossilized yeah. bones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so this is a source of calcium. Uh, uh, for the uh, plant. Uh, calcium phosphate also. Calcium phosphate. So, why does the plant need calcium phosphate? Uh, uh, no, like, uh, like phosphorus is um, uh, really important. Uh, uh, like a lot of uh, people think phosphates are bad, but your your bones are made of calcium phosphate. Adenosine triphosphate is there energy currency in their body, it's uh, cell walls, and that was of phosphorus, uh, uh, like, uh, like we'd be, 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 be dead. And, and phosphorus is a huge, um, you know, like farmers will actually put in that... Uh, uh, Seafood uh, kind of uh, uh, shrimp... Uh, no, 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 they'd actually use uh, phosphoric acid. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, which is really soluble. Uh, okay. uh, and, 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 and then uh, it drains into the rivers. Yeah, it, exactly. Okay, so this is a more yeah, yeah, stable. Yeah, it, it, it stays in the soil column. Okay. It, it's uh, it, it's so insoluble. So the plant through the roots yeah. can reach the sediment here and get enough calcium and, phosphate. And, and through this fungus. Uh, uh, oh, so that's another one. That's another yeah. ingredient, right? So this, yeah. is, so this is the fungus. Oh, okay. So we don't have this here. We're just going to put a little bit of this. This is a fungus, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it here as a as our sixth element, right? Uh, 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 like when plants uh, first started uh, growing on the earth, they had a symbiotic relationship with the fungus. Yes. The, the algae. Uh, and the fungus was able to extract rocks from uh, igneous uh, uh, sources. Like, uh, rocks? Like, so something from the rocks, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, like you might notice on volcanic rocks, uh, like, like in the Laurentians, you know, like you have this uh, green stuff that grows on it. Yes. Lichens. Yes. Lichens. Uh, for millions of years, uh, uh, like uh, like that's how plant life uh, started, and 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 the plants have never uh, 
like 95% uh, of the plants still have that relationship with the fungus. So the fungus extracts something from the rock and essentially makes soil. And then the bigger yeah. plants can grow into that, but the uh, yeah. metallic elements in the tree systems have been made available from the rock yeah, into yeah, that soil that yeah, grows, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. It, it actually it attacks the uh, plant's roots, goes into the plant cells, and uh, actually uh, it draws sugar from the plant. Oh, that's the, that's the fungus here. Yeah. Okay. And, and then at the same time, it, it actually extracts the, the insoluble phosphorus from the soil and, and supplies the plant and, and actually increases the capacity of the plant to drop water. So, and, so that's a symbiotic relationship. They get yeah. the sugar from the plant yeah. and they supply to the plant these elements. These yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and, and then it, it, it uh, like it dies and, and it has uh, proteins that are resistant to uh, de uh, decomposition okay. and adds the uh, structure to the soil, more sponginess, so it can store water. Okay. So we put this as a microorganism, right? Yeah. And grow yeah. throughout this mixture of soils, right? Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about the proportions? Like how how do you mix them together? What did you uh, do in the pot? I, I just kind of simply eyeballed it because okay. uh, uh, like this is all relatively new. Adding uh, 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 like uh, uh, like sequestering carbon, carbon. Mm -hmm. uh, like this could actually help solve uh, climate change. But we'll talk about it into another video. So I just started like uh, like a third, a third, a third of oh, his main ingredients. Yeah, yeah, okay. and, and and then out of that volume, I used one sixteenth of uh, of uh, of the dolomitic limestone and the uh, cal uh, calcium phosphate ore. Um, and how much how much of the uh, the fungus did you put in? Yeah, yeah, just uh, uh, like uh, like uh, like Mikey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a a, a tiny bit, it, 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 yeah, like just to inoculate the whole thing. Um, these are, are just uh, like they're not um, uh, like we need more help from the community to 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 study the the effects of everything. And this is very easy to set up. Uh, uh, like we're going to be working on more prototypes, and mm -hmm. um, so it also has the property of making the. Uh, uh, Growing medium pores. Yeah. Because what we want, we want these pots in the green wall to filter the, the air, the air yeah. from uh, VLCs, right? From the VL, yeah, yeah, the volatile organic compound. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this is so the air because it's yeah. a, because it, it remains a very uh, spongy or porous yeah. uh, medium, right? We can actually drive air through it easily. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is actually 30 years ago in conjunction with the uh, Interior Landscaping uh, Association and NASA um, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, like to put together um, a study to see how plants will clean the air. I've always had problems with that study and, and, and actually looked at it and, and then replicated uh, like the uh, design that they have on it. So we're gonna we're gonna link to that NASA paper yeah. in the video so so people at home can uh, can actually check it out yeah and uh, 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 like uh, like it explained that um, the plants actually through the soil cleans most of the air yeah so so they use a squirrel fan I just used an old uh, computer fan so so the air is actually drawn through the soil and uh, 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 like this is actually used for uh, gas masks. To, the to clean the air. Carbon, yes. Yeah, yeah, and gas masks. So, so uh, 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 like this has the potential of working, and uh, uh, like the bacterial uh, action will actually uh, break down these uh, contaminants. So we so we do have something organic here, which is the I mean something live, which is the uh, um, this uh, 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 micro Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is, uh, uh, yeah. The natural fungus. Fungus. And then uh, other bacteria are just where did they come from? Do we, uh, do we have uh, to inoculate these bacteria inside? Uh, um, or uh, they just come naturally from the air? And yeah, uh, like they just naturally come from the air, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, like maybe uh, uh, like we could also try another experiment, uh, uh, like an aquarium uh, um, inoculation that they use in aquariums to 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 uh, get rid of um, uh, the the ammonium ion NH four. And, and there's a bacteria that makes NH, uh, NO2 
which is also toxic, nitrites that are found in a, a, as a preservative in a lot of foods. Mm -hmm. And then there's another bacteria that breaks it into NO3, which is actually plant fertilizer. Which makes it available to the plant, yes. A, a, and it's less uh, toxic. So, uh, 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 like the air is 78% nitrogen, N2, but it's uh, hexavalently bonded. So plants are not, even though they're surrounded by nitrogen, they're not able to extract the nitrogen from the air. And nitrogen is really important to make amino acids and, and proteins yes. that are building blocks. Well, that's why it's used as a fertilizer. Yeah. But the yeah. problem is the way, the way we use it in agriculture at large scale, they use uh, uh, salts, right? And they're highly soluble, so they end up in water streams, and then you have all these problems with stuff growing in, 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 in the lakes. Uh, yeah. In this particular case, uh, you would have a, 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 a little factory of making these um, nitrogen available to the plant yeah. locally at the yeah. root level yeah. without pouring these salts into the soil, right? Uh, and, and also the production of fertilizer, um, uh, like you have to use a Haber process, uh, okay. which is essentially nitrogen and hydrogen heating at a high temperature and, and could be responsible for quite a uh, uh, a large percentage, uh, uh, like I believe, like five percent of the total of greenhouse gases. Okay, so just because to you have to supply, the, yes, to supply yeah. energy to make these these uh, uh, nutrients for the plants, yeah. these, these fertilizers, yeah. uh, you're polluting the, the, the air, you're polluting yeah. the earth. Uh, but here you let biology, you make biology work, you make these microorganisms yeah. work for you to produce these fertilizers. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The whole thing is just to uh, to circulate. Um, air, right? The, the yeah. Air is yeah. In the, in the yeah. Pot. So we have a we have a, a, a nitrogen uh, fertilizer factory. Yeah. Say, our little pot. So <laughs> as Bruce said, you know, this is just a starter, and there's a lot of questions and hypotheses that we have. All these mechanisms that we that believe at our play to fix nitrogen and, and, and also fix some chemicals, volatile chemicals that you have in the air by by, by driving it through the through the soil. Um, eventually they get trapped into this carbon or get sucked into the, the, the plant and just stored into, into the plant. Uh, so we still have a lot of work to do to, to try different, different mixtures of soil. Yeah, right? okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's an invitation for you at home. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, please comment below. And um, if you have tried uh, some other ingredients that we can try here in the lab and we can collaborate uh, or join the pro project, join us in doing yeah. a project and, and work with us in perfecting these these soils. Again, the, uh, the main goal here is to have uh, plants growing in pots in green walls that look pretty and also have the um, function of cleaning or purifying the air environment. Uh, might be your workspace, or might be your house, or a lobby in a, in a lobby area. Wouldn't this look a lot better, <clears throat> a nice plant that actually cleans the air in some type of gray uh, box that actually uses uh, carbon. carbon that you have to change the filter in that, and, uh, and, and this is so easy to put together. It, 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 it just, uh, it, it could be a great platform for use in schools. Oh, there you go. Yes. Uh, it, it, it just um, you know, like uh, like these proportions are just starting out. Uh, you know, like it's the, uh, I haven't seen anybody else put this together the, the uh, same way. So uh, you know, like we need people to help us test it. Uh, um, you know, like we could share documents and uh, like advanced science. Uh, 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 like this is really really exciting biochar. To, it could revolutionize uh, agriculture, and uh, it could be an answer to for um, greenhouse gases. Exactly. So we're going to make another, another video in the, in the near future yeah. about uh, Bruce's idea of biochar, activated carbon, how it can be used in be used in agriculture, and uh, and uh, essentially sequestrating or, or or burying carbon, right? Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking it out outside of the cycle. Uh, yeah, yeah. Being uh, put into the atmosphere again and again. Yeah, yeah, there's a terra uh, uh ancient civilizations have done that in the Amazon uh, uh, forest and that. Yes. And there's actually more carbon stored in the uh, earth soils than in the vegetation in the atmosphere. 
because of forests that have burned yeah, throughout, yeah. throughout the years. So, so yeah. we're looking at rebuilding our soils and uh, having a nice cool product in, 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 in scientific uh, um, lab. Yes. So all this here works. Uh, we've been running these pots here for uh, since January. Um, so there is a proof of concept done. Uh, there is room for improvement. Um, the Green Wall project of Satorica is open. Satorica is an open network. So we extend again the invitation to join us at the Satorica Lab. Or if you're not in Montreal, you can join us online, join the project, and see you there. And, and, and we'll have a fun playing with soils and plants. Yeah. <laughs>